Hey guys, thanks for stopping on the Pete's Garage. In this video, we're going to talk about installing the front cover, your timing chain cover, and water pumps. Now, if you're just rebuilding your engine, you're just going to reuse the front cover, and you're just going to reuse the water pump or get a new water pump. They're actually fairly cheap, so get another one. Uh, you're just going to reuse the same parts. But if you're building an engine from scratch, make sure you get the right timing chain cover for your engine, whether it's a Ford, Chevy, whatever brand it is because the right front cover is critical. It may look the same on the outside, but on the inside, sometimes there are fins inside a front cover, uh, timing chain cover that will direct oil to lubricate certain parts of the engine. So you wanna make sure you get the right front cover for the engine, number one. Number two, you also wanna make sure when you buy the water pump, you get a water pump that rotates in the right direction. They're either gonna rotate clockwise or counterclockwise, and it makes a difference, and this is why. Uh, this is how it works different. If you have a standard configuration with an alternator and your water pump and it's rotating this way, the water pump is going to be rotating clockwise. The rotation is clockwise. However, if you have a motor and you have a tensioner, you have a tensioner there where the, the belt goes over and it goes underneath the water pump, the pump is going to rotate this way, which is counterclockwise. So you have to make sure that you get the right rotation for your water pump or else it's not going to pump the coolant through your engine properly, okay? That's about it. Otherwise, unless you're going to go into electric water pumps and different types of water pumps, high volume water pumps, it, it, it's it's really different on the different depending on the engine you're you're going to build. But usually, the standard water pump for that engine is going to be enough for what you need. Just make sure you get the right rotation. So let's put on a front cover and a water pump. I'll walk you through the steps to make sure when you do it, it doesn't leak oil or coolant, and that the installation is successful. Let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I have my front cover just bolted to the engine with the gasket in there and I just have four bolts to hold it all straight and uh, all you guys know that I, I hate the extra gasket material sticking out of the um, out from around from underneath the um, cover and all my parts so all I'm going to do is I'm going I'm to go around my front cover and I'm going to mark it with a pencil and I'm going to take it off and trim off all this extra material just to make it look neater now what the front cover does, at least for this Ford, and Chevys are similar, but the Ford, I have to seal two things. I have to seal coolant, the coolant that comes through these passages here, and you have to seal the oil, which is around the entire uh, perimeter of the gasket. Now of course the bottom, the oil pan comes up underneath to seal the bottom. But before I put my cover on, I always like to take a little bit of engine assembly lube, and just for the last time, get, get, get some inside the gears here. So drop the cap. So just get a little bit of lube inside the chain so when you turn it over for the last time you have a little bit of extra lubricant and just a little bit on the top. So it's your last chance to lube that up. So now that I have my chain lubed and I have my gasket trimmed to fit. The, the key to any sealing surface or to making any gasket work is to have a clean surface. So I like to take my lint free cloth with a little bit of solvent on there. I use lacquer thinner, but you can use anything like uh, any reducer, alcohol, any, uh, anything you, you that's a degreaser. And I like to go around and clean the entire surface to make sure there's no grease. You see how dirty that is? I want to make sure this entire surface is clean so that it doesn't leave the opportunity for a leak path especially around these water jackets. You want to make sure these are really clean and through the uh, rest of the timing chain cover where it's going to rest. Now my surface is clean and what I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare the surface here and I just want to put a little bit of sealer on here. I use the Permatex High Tech Gasket Sealant 98H and I use this because it's, uh, it's very liquid and um, it comes with a brush on the can like this as you see. And I want to very, very carefully take this and go around my surfaces where I need the gasket to seal. And this is just like a gasket maker. So I'm going to go around here very slow, being careful not to get into my bolt holes. And I'll go around this entire opening and put a little bit of this on here. This will hold the gasket in place and help seal it at the same time. Now they have an, an even coat all the way around, you don't want to waste much time because it doesn't stay super sticky too long. So I'm going to put my gasket on, I'm going to line up my holes, 
just to get it in position. Push it down around all the openings to make sure that there is a good adhesion and that it lines up right with the holes and make sure it's going to stick down right. That will give me one an opportunity to take one last look to make sure I've trimmed the gasket everywhere where I don't want it. There's a little bit I'm going to trim right here. Now what I'm going to do is before I put the front cover on, I am going to put another coat of high tech around the front of the gasket. So I have an even coat of my high tech around the gasket. I also have some on the back of the timing chain cover around the ports where the water coolant will be. And I also have my front seal pressed in. And when you do this, do this with a press. Try and do a neat job. If you hit it with a hammer and try and bang it in there, crook it, you're going to ruin it. So try and use a, a press if you have one or use, try and use the proper method. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit my timing chain cover in place. I'm going to make sure it's lined up. And I will put in my first couple bolts to hold it. Get it lined up and make sure that it, it doesn't shift, the gasket doesn't shift. So now what I'll do is I will go around, put the rest of them in just to hold the cover in place and to get that high tack before it really sets up. And then there are bolt holes here, one, two, there's four bolt holes here that these bolts are from the water pump. So I'm going to have to put the water pump on right away to make sure that the, um, the entire timing chain cover, these bolts down here, bolts down here, the bolts in the back, and the bolts that go through here, through the water pump, they're all in place to hold this in place. Let me tighten up the cover, we'll come back and put on the water pump. Now I will follow the same process for the water pump. I already have my gasket trimmed, all the extra stuff that was on here, I trimmed all it off. I'll put down my high tack, put my gasket in place, another coat of high tack on that and on the water pump and I'll put my water pump in place. And with my sealant around my gasket here, my permatex, or I'm sorry, my uh, high tack around where the coolant is going to flow through on this side. And you do around the whole thing because on Ford, when they leak, there's a weep hole at the bottom of this this uh, cavity here and when it weeps that's where it leaks to let you know it's leaking so I will I have the whoops, I have the um, high tech on the back of the water pump so now I will sit my water pump in place and and I will start to bolt this in place being careful of course not to move the gasket so now the water pump is installed uh, this water pump is an Edelbrock water pump with the Endurashine finish, so it's kind of like a polished aluminum without having to have the polished aluminum, and it doesn't uh, tarnish or oxidize like aluminum, so it'll stay clean, easy to clean. Last thing I got to do for my timing chain cover is to put my plate. I have a plate that goes over the fuel pump opening here. Since I'm using an electric fuel pump, I don't need this opening for the mechanical fuel pump. This is where the mechanical fuel pump would go. So all I'm going to do is do the same thing. I'm going to put a gasket on here put my cover on and that will be finished. So here I have the water pump and the front cover installed. When you start the job make sure you have all your hardware ready because as you can see part of the water pump bolts include this alternator bracket and two of these long bolts have to go through the water pump and I had to have two different spacers to make sure that this bracket fit on right. So have all your hardware ready before you even bolt it on. Make sure you have a nice clean uh, application of your high tack, put your gaskets on, put everything on there and torque down the whole water pump and your timing chain cover. Let it sit for a few minutes, I don't know, 10-15 minutes, come back and re-snug your bolts working in a circular pattern to make sure you get them all nice and snug. That way your water pump's not going to leak or your front cover's not going to leak. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my pulley on and I don't want to leave my, my pulley kind of blunt on the front so uh, they don't have commercially available a cover for my pulley so I actually made this this front cover for my pulley and I made it on a lathe so that it comes out just perfect so when I take when I put my bolts in here and I set this in place 
like that. And when I tighten it down, let's put some bolts on here, just a, one bolt to show you. I, 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 it finishes it off real nice. You see I continued to continue down with the taper, made it nice and made a nice cover for my water pump pulley to finish it right off. Those weren't commercially available, I had to make it, didn't take too long, turned it out of aluminum, polished it, and it uh, adds a nice finishing touch to, the, to the, uh, the water pump and the pulley. So there you have it guys, installing your front cover, timing chain cover, and your water pump. Just take your time, make sure all your surfaces are clean, Use just a little bit of a sealant to make sure that you fill the pores in the gasket and in between the gasket and the metal. And use a circular pattern when you tighten down your fasteners to make sure that you get an even torque all the way around. And remember, you're not trying to glue these things together. You don't need a ton of stuff on there. You just need a little bit to provide a sealant. And it makes it nice and clean. And, you don't, and since you're just not gluing them together and you don't really need to torque them really hard, you don't want to risk uh, stripping a bolt in either your block Right in the front cover, you don't want to risk stripping anything. So follow the manufacturer's recommended torque for all of your fasteners, and and take your time. Don't try and make a rush job. If you don't have enough time, put it off, and make sure you have enough time to do this job properly. Because when you do it properly, take your time and make it neat. It looks very very clean, and it looks like you it looks like you took your time, and it looks very very professional. If you have any questions, please, I, I love your questions, uh, your text messages, email, take me a little time to get to, but I will get to those. Um, and if you can leave a comment, if you do this kind of work, have any suggestions, leave a comment below and help us all out. We're all here to learn together. I appreciate you watching this video. I appreciate all your comments and all your help. Thanks all you guys from all over the world I get comments from, and I really appreciate it. I really appreciate all your comments. Thanks for stopping by Pete's Garage.